This is how I calculated the delta V, D, and theta required to launch a charged particle from here to the target. First, I calculated the electric field inside the plates. And after that, I tried to solve for acceleration to put into the equation Vf is equal to V initial squared plus 2As in order to determine for um, projectile motion. So I solved for acceleration to get delta V over mass times charge times distance. For this equation, I made the initial velocity zero to get the equation Vf is equal to square root two times delta V over mass times charge. Then I calculated for outside of the plates Using that same equation, I solved for velocity in the x and y direction with these equations, and then I solved um, for time so I could plug into the equation y equals y initial plus velocity minus one half gravity times time squared. So once I solved for t, this was what I calculated. Using the given information from the extra credit, I was able to plug in y1 and x1 for the first equation. So y1 is the 10 meters and x1 is the 100 meters. Plugged it in for this right here, multiplied by the time minus 1 half g and then t squared. And this was my answer. I was able to do the following plug-in for this equation with y2 and x2. I changed this to be 5 meters and I made this 200 meters. The same goes for when I plugged it in for the 1 half gt squared right here. Then I solved So I found theta first after solving one of the equations. In order to find delta V, I plugged in my theta that I calculated back into this equation in order to get delta V. Once I calculated my delta V, I was able to calculate electric potential to get the final height HF is equal to the charge times delta V over mass times G solving to get H final plugging that in to solve for D D sine theta is equal to HF Solving for D, I plugged in the numbers to solve to get my final answer.